Jakkenborg Slot i det sydvestlige hjørne af Danmark. Her skal prins Joachim og Marie Cavalier bo, og her tager de imod og fortæller om glæden ved livet på landet, om deres kærlighed til hinanden og om at indgå ægteskab nummer to. Deres hjem har en 800 år lang historie bag sig. Nu skrives der et nyt kapitel i historien, når Marie Cavalier efter brylluppet i Landsbykirken flytter ind som fru på slottet. She's a she has a fantastic character. Um, she's very um, she's got a very strong mind and, and will, but also a very um, a very soft and tender personality. And uh, and that blend is uh, is one of those things that uh, I immediately uh, fell for. He's a very good man, uh, very patient and. Um, a bit stubborn sometimes, <laughs> bit. but that's good because we need to. If we, if you always said yes to everything I did, it would not be my personality to be with someone like that. So he's um, he's just extremely kind, and I think we can see it in, on his face. <laughs> Well, Hannes, we're sitting here in your home. Do you recall your feelings the first time you had to show this place to your future wife? At the time, um, we were still sort of very new to each other, so it wasn't even certain that we were going to develop into to what this has developed to. So to have, uh, to have my girlfriend visiting here was, of course, uh, a great pleasure for me, also to give her an impression of what my life uh, is like when I'm not in the limelight. And, uh, and of course to show her a wonderful house in a particular part of a small and for you then unknown country. Yes. And Miss Cavalier, what did you think the first time you saw this place? Uh, it's more than I expected. I was so happy. I think the, the house is so beautiful and, and just feel really good here, you know. And, and I was very happy because I was a bit worried, you know, you never when you don't know about a place and, and a country and a family. Um, but this place really, I thought right away I would feel good here. Is it exactly like you want it to be or have you already started to have some plans about redecorating? Well, at first I never, it's never like we want to be. I think it's more than what I want it to be. And uh, deco redecorating um, of course, we have some plans, but it already looks so nice, so it's not going to change that much. Just some personal things. Do you expect to uh, agree on that, or who's going to decide which color the wallpaper is going to be? We're both going to decide. Exactly. This is, this is not a place where you can just put up any color you want to, because there's a lot of... Every room has its own particular... Uh, ornamentation, so you've got to be careful, but Marie has a fantastic respect. and good sense of, of decoration, so yes. it won't be a hard task for me. Her i det sjovt sammen, spiser i slik. So what about it, do you eat candy? Yeah. Yes, we do. <laughs> <laughs> we do sometimes. We, we, we enjoy eating and we, um, sweets are always good, especially when the children are around. There's always sweets around and sometimes you yeah. take one or two. It's not just for kids. No. <laughs> <laughs> there was another question here. Do you have fun together? That's a very important question. We definitely do. We have a lot of fun together because I think we're also almost like best friends. So we, and we love to laugh. And I think it's very important. And so, yes, we do have fun together. A lot of fun. And, uh, and also the fact that we're very similar in our sense of humor. So we know how to, how to make we, the other one laugh or laugh how to tease the other one. And what do you like to do together for fun? Well, it'll be anything from watching a movie, playing cards or games. Yes, games. Uh, we like games. Uh, and just chit-chatting. And having dinners with our friends, we, we're very social, so we always like to have friends over and have uh, simple um, private dinners. And uh, we also love to walk outside with our dogs. 
and uh, and have fun with them. Hvad kan Marie best lide i sin fritid? So working with my dogs, <laughs> watching a movie. Uh, I love reading, uh, reading books because so I can get away, you know, from the real world sometimes. And um, uh, I mean, there's when I was back home, I loved to go and ski every weekend and um, things like You're that. You're very much an outdoors person. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, skiing is going to be a bit difficult to do every weekend. <laughs> I mean, that's okay, because I had my share. <laughs> it's common knowledge that uh, His Royal Highness likes motorsports a lot. Is that something you want to I love motorsports. In? Yeah, mm -hmm. I really do. I've been to so many of his races and and my, I have, as you must know, I have brothers myself, so I was raised in that kind of world with men, a lot of boys things. <laughs> so motorsports or soccer or things like that this is something i've been used to and i really like so it's that's something you can see and i'm so proud <laughs> i think it's great we met a long time ago uh, we uh, met coincidentally we found out that we were the only uh, french around and uh, that's actually how we got into to talking and and introduced and, and and that's how it stayed for many years yes so, uh, that was just an introduction. so it was literally just meeting yes hello <laughs> we, yeah we met in denmark the first time a mutual friend yes yeah. but then you started seeing each other after your divorce and uh, yeah. how did that happen we saw each other in Paris. You go very often to Paris, and, well, and, I, and I knew Paris. that. <laughs> so, uh, so one day I took a chance when I was in, in Paris, and uh, I, I called Marie, asked if, uh, if she would be in Paris at the same time as I, and uh, if, in, if that was the case, if, uh, if I could invite her out. And so uh, I suppose that's how those emotions started. Yes. <laughs> and you said In yes. Paris, a romantic city. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Anything can happen. In Paris. Yes. <laughs> if you should describe each other, how would you describe the woman sitting next to you? She has that uh, Latin attitude, as we call it, but she's also very soft and uh, and uh, good-hearted, and she loves a good time. Um, so uh, we match in that sense uh, very much. Yeah. The Latin attitude is that a bit of a temper. <laughs> it, it not necessarily more tem temperamental. She's not more temperamental than I am. Uh, no. She's we not just say more what we think because yeah. we think communication is very important, and it's important to say the things so we don't hold anything inside, and then it escalates and it becomes worse. I think we need to talk about things if there's disagreement right away, so then it's finished. Marie, but then I'll be gift and man that I'll get the gift one time. I mean, I love him, he's been married or not, it doesn't change anything to me. And also I think it's good because he has experience and um, so he can teach me a lot of things. <laughs> and so, the sons, I, 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 at the beginning I, I was a bit, you know, afraid because it's always so uh, hard to become a stepmother, but I'm so lucky because these kids are just amazing, so it won't be a problem. Your own parents separated. Has that made you more aware of how to to react to children? Well, definitely, because I've been there, so I know how they feel. And I think um, it's one positive thing about having parents who divorced in my situation. Um, I just learned a lot from it, and I know what to do and what not to do. A more natural approach to it. No, and I just know how they feel.